Today's topic is do tattoos cause cancer? Hello, welcome back. This is Dr. Azizian, a board certified general surgeon and a functional medicine certified physician. Today's topic is whether tattoos can lead to skin and other non-skin cancers. We will go into the latest research to answer these questions. But before we get started, please, as always, like, subscribe and share. So let's get started. So tattoos have become more and more popular form of self-expression and everybody is getting a tattoo nowadays. So let's break down what tattoo ink is made of and then let's look at the diseases that the components of the ink can potentially cause. So what is a tattoo ink? Tattoo ink is a liquid that contains pigments and carriers. Pigments are the particles that give the ink its color, while carriers are liquids that help transfer the pigment into the skin. So tattoo ink can contain a variety of substances, including metals and solvents and other chemicals, and sometimes unknown chemicals. So let's look at these harmful substances individually. So the first one is polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. PAHs are a group of chemicals that occur naturally in coal, crude oil, and gasoline. And they are produced, for example, when gas, wood, garbage, tobacco are burned. So why are they bad? They're bad because they're known to be carcinogenic, they cause cancer, and mutagenic, they cause gene mutations. So when a tattoo ink containing this PHA is injected into the skin, it can lead to DNA damage and could potentially lead to some aberrations. So it induces stress response, and as a result, our body body's level of inflammation increases and there could be some changes in the inside of the human cell. The next component is actually heavy metals. Heavy metals such as mercury, cadmium, chromium, they're often found in inks and they're used to create certain colors uh, and certain effects in the tattoo. So why are they bad? So these metals can cause a range of problems such as allergic reactions, toxicities, and long-term diseases. They can accumulate in the body and cause systemic, the whole body toxicity. And they can create strange symptoms that conventional testing may have difficulty pinpointing. And that happens a lot. Uh, heavy metals can affect our immune system in a variety of ways. And uh, on that topic, I, I have to say that, have you ever wondered why there's so many undiagnosed symptoms, such as, for example, joint pain, rashes, itching, uh, strange headaches, and nobody can diagnose them, meaning nobody can get to the bottom of this, and it takes a long, long time to get to the root cause of the problem. And in many cases, it is the toxic exposure that is to blame for these um, unfortunate symptoms and the causes could be very, very hard to diagnose. So the next component that uh, is harmful that is contained in the ink is nanoparticles. As the name implies, nanoparticles are extremely small particles measuring in nanometers, which is one billionth of a meter. And they can use in be used in tattoo ink to create vibrant colors and smooth application. Due to their small size, these nanoparticles, they penetrate skin cells and tissues, potentially interacting with cellular structures and causing damage. They can travel through the bloodstream to various organs and posing long-term health risks. Some of them are hard to predict which kinds, but they do lead to the stress, oxidative stress of the cell, inflammation, and again, potentially carcinogenic effects. Let's move on to the next harmful component of the ink, which is more familiar, such as formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a colorless, uh, strong smelling chemical that is used in variety of industrial applications, including as a preservative in a tattoo ink. Um, and unfortunately, formaldehyde is, is a known carcinogen, meaning that it can cause cancer. It also causes allergic reactions, respiratory problems, and skin irritations, itching, rashes, etc. And of course, that brings me back to an anatomy class in medical school where once you handle formaldehyde, everything, your whole body smelled the formaldehyde, and it was a horrible smell on your fingers that was very hard to get off. So when formaldehyde is released 
from the tattoo into the skin again it can cause genetic mutations and it it has a carcinogenic proven carcinogenic effect so what have we talked about the harmful components of tattoo ink and now we will talk about what cancers uh, they cause because when i say i um, about this cancer i imply that we know for sure that there is a correlation so the first cancer that i would like to discuss is something that we see in our clinic a lot which is a squamous cell carcinoma of the skin squamous cell carcinoma of the skin is a common cancer from the layer of the skin and it has been shown that's the interesting part that the red tattoo inks have been specifically linked to the squamous cell cancers additionally certain tattoo pigments can become more harm harmful when exposed to the uv light and the uv light is an ultraviolet light that is uh, emitted by the sun and also unfortunately from the tanning bed which uh, are horrible for your skin in general but the uv light so the sunlight or tanning bed light makes it worse so and another reason for me to to please plea with you please do not use tanning beds please please if the connection between skin cancer and tattoo ink has been known for some time what i'm about to tell you will surprise you because a recent study from sweden has shown a link between lymphoma and tattoo ink as you may or may not know lymphoma is not a skin cancer per se it is a type of cancer that starts in your lymph nodes uh, and those are the germ fighting basically network the key study findings of this this uh, recent research shows that tattoos increase the re risk of malignant lymphoma by 20%. So meaning that people who have tattoos are much more likely to get these lymphomas. The risk was particularly high for lymphomas such as large B cell lymphoma and follicular lymphoma. Both are these lymphomas, there are types of non-Hodgkin lymphoma that affect our immune cells. Common symptoms of the these uh, lymphomas are painless swelling of our lymph nodes in the neck, armpits, groin, fatigue, fever, night sweats, unexplained weight loss, abdominal pain or swelling, frequent infection due to the compromised immune system. Uh, sometimes the onset could be asymptomatic. Treatments for lymphoma include chemotherapy, radiation, immunotherapy, uh, and some other modalities. So finally, to end this video on an upbeat note, here's an interesting fact. Some studies have suggested that black tattoo inks might offer some prediction, uh, some uh, protection against sun-induced cancers. Uh, this study has only been done in mice, so um, basically uh, it's, it's not a hundred percent but it's very encouraging so in conclusion uh, to summarize this video i would recommend that please think twice before getting a, um, a tattoo uh, and uh, if you get a tattoo just stick to black ink and uh, if you have a tattoo, then of course, please use sunscreen. Do everything you can to minimize your risks at, of at least uh, skin cancer. There is actually no direct study whether sunscreen affects a possibility of a cancer from a tattoo, but that seems that the only precaution that we can do if you already have a tattoo. And thank you so much for listening. Until next time. Bye-bye.